goes sun, moon, and rising. It's Michelle, your practical priestess here at Divinely Genuine. So I hope you guys are doing good, ready for the full, full moon on the 29th of May. We're here to do the tarot reading. I've already communed with spirit and shuffled the deck to save time, so I'm going to cut it on the camera. And let's see what we're doing for the new moon for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you guys have not checked out my Facebook page yet, I have a website up, so there's cool stuff there. If you subscribe, you get two, just two emails a week. And they're very short. One's just a positive affirmation. The other is a nutritious recipe. So, yeah. All right, we've got the Hermit card, perfect Virgo card. Hermit card represents Virgo. It's the six card. Represents the six uh, house in astrology being Virgos, which is service to others, everyday work. The Hermit card is going within. Okay. And it is a major arcana card, which is saying that um, major changes could be coming with this full moon. Um, it's an imparter of wisdom, a hermit or somebody who enjoys solitude, wisdom and loneliness, being alone, light in the darkness, guidance from within, the wisdom of another showing you the way, a helping hand, age and experience, shining your inner light for others to see, a spiritual truth that acts as a navigation point. Okay? So that spiritual truth, that intuition, the guiding light that you find within that acts as the navigation point, right? Um, you find that connection when you're in solitude, when you're in meditation, when you're alone with spirit. Okay? Backing that up in the advice position, we have the lover card reversed. So you're feeling more inwardly passionate and devoted to your um, things that are um, important to you. Um, you're being appreciative of someone or something in your life that you are very devoted and passionate to. It could be a lover, family, friend, your passions, it could be your children, um, okay? It could be the... Um, insight you're given as you're going within, okay? The shadow side of the lover card is obsessive passion that harms others and self-destructive devotion. So you definitely don't want to be devoted to self-destructive behaviors or patterns. Um, ways to break that is by um, observing your thoughts and Virgo you guys are ruled by Mercury so the thoughts can be many and worrisome and you've got to be sure that you are devoted not to self-destructive thought patterns but what can I do to make myself happier what can I do to better the situation and choose to think about those things and then we've got my favorite card the alchemist alchemist is also a major arcana card suggesting major change at this time with the full moon. And the alchemist is the first card, which would be more of an Aries, um, Aries um, vibe as the Air Aries is the first um, sign in astrology. And Aries is going forth, um, putting things forward. Um, new ideas, inspiring, inspired action taken, okay? The alchemist is the instigation of transformation, okay? So as you've gone in and realized what you want to be passionate and devoted to, you then come to a point where there's going to be some um, big changes and transformation happening. Instigating big changes, having all the resources necessary, knowing how to manipulate and control a situation, the spiritual and mundane world reflecting each other, okay? So being the alchemist, playing with your thoughts, taking those worrisome Virgo, trying to figure it all out thoughts and turning them into 
visualizing what you want, visualizing it happen, feeling how you feel when you make those happen, when those opportunities are given to you. Okay? Um, and then you're reflecting then the spiritual, which is, you know, you're just thinking these things and it's coming to you reflecting in the mundane world as that's how the universe um, gives it to us. It's whatever we're focusing on, the law of attraction. Uh, you're channeling the divine, it's intention, energy, will, and resources focused to one goal, primary, primal urge, initial plans and actions. Okay. All right, and then backing that card up, we have the priest card reversed. So inwardly, we're feeling more, um, it says light a tribute of facilitate spiritual commitment, serves as a channel of spiritual energy, yes. The shadow side is violates the trust of your spiritual community, seduced by your own spiritual role. Okay, so maybe that has to do with, like, your spiritual role as you gain, like, popularity or a following or something like that or some kind of promotions and leadership. You could get prideful in that spiritual role and, um, which would be being seduced by it, you know, uh, seduced by the power of it or something like that. And then, which would then, you know, could violate trust by the spiritual community. So you don't want to go on that negative side, but stay on the lighter side of things and uh, facilitate those spiritual commitments and stay connected as you serve the divine and serve as a channel of spiritual energy. Okay? Don't let it get to your head. Eight of Cups is what we walk into next. It's reversed, so that again will represent an inward state. Eight is the house of rebirth and transformation, and um, cups represent our emotions as well, or it could represent like Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancers. So Eight of Cups is the vision quest in the wasteland, searching for spiritual truth, leaving something behind, letting go of the past and moving on. Um, abandonment, quest, questing for an inner truth, seeking the spiritual realm, the wandering stranger, feeling that something is missing, a pilgrimage, okay? So you're, you've gone within here with the hermit card, Virgos, and you've found a new passion and devotion to what is important to you. You then understand how to be the alchemist and turn things from a spiritual wants and desires into reflecting those in the mundane world by being the alchemist, um, causing transformation, starting with your thoughts. And then you are still able to facilitate your spiritual connections and commitments and serve as a spiritual channel. Um, as you go within, find those passions and be devoted to them and learn the law of attraction as the alchemist has and then that channel remains pure and then you seek spiritual truth here with the eight of cups and you let go of the past as you learn more to control those thoughts and move on. And then we have here child wounded reversed as well, so inward as well. Light a tribute as awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children, opens the learning path of forgiveness. I love how it says learning path of forgiveness because sometimes it's not easy to forgive, especially if it's someone in our life that continuously hurts us or hurts ones that we love. Um, but to be able to carry that light energy, it's something that needs to be achieved, but like they say, it is a path, and that's really cool, and you just have to learn it continuously. So awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children, opens the learning path of forgiveness. So maybe this is what comes to you as you seek spiritual truth. It's not only like seeing the value in yourself, 
and healing those wounds, but seeing the value in other people and helping them to heal their wounds as well. Uh, shadow side of this card is blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds. Resist moving on through forgiveness. Okay, so let's try to stay on the lighter sides, be compassionate, be forgiving, all the things. All right, Virgos, that's your full moon reading. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Check out the website. I'm offering a three 30-minute spiritual healing. Um, and you can find that on my Facebook page as well at Divinely Genuine. All right, guys, how the moon? Love y'all. Peace.